It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Los Angeles Rams. Coming up next. This is the city, Los Angeles, California. That's where we are for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gaughan with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job? Keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. Philly's offense getting ready and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield and don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember he's the son of a coach. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Play action. Here's Hurts. And unable to connect on the long pass. He actually brings it in, but he was out of bounds, incomplete. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. They go play action with Hurts. And he'll be taken down before he gets into enemy territory. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. To Barkley on the check down. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Second down in the yard. Hurt's going to keep it running right. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. He'll grab three yards on the play, taking it himself for the first down. And what a weapon to have when you can use your quarterback as a short yardage runner and pick up first downs. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down and a little more than a yard here. 
They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first and ten, it's Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles are on the board first on the road here in L.A. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7-zip. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense, and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Forty-two yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Eagles will have it, taking over first and ten. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now second and nine. Here's Hurts to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. 
Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well. Sean McVay unhappy on the sidelines visibly. He's made the decision to reach for the red flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. First down carry for Barkley. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 41-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. But first down, Hurts. Throw left side here complete to Campbell. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Just need a yard here, second and one. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Second down, here's Hurts. He dumps it off to Barkley. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught, 11 on the field, those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. Throwing his hurts. And a throw there going to be incomplete. The L.A. defense up the snuff and coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And 
And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They look to get something started. They need to down 10 nothing early as they've got it first and 10. Stafford. Open man is Atwell complete. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. Here's Stafford now on second down. And that would complete downfield to cup. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards to pick up there. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. A first run now for Kyron Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. In there to drop him for the loss. Linebacker N'Kobe Dean, an outstanding play. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Here's Stafford. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 24-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. But whenever you call and run the hitch route, a lot of times that ball's got to be in the air before the receiver even turns around. That's the result of throwing it so many times in practice. It's really a timing route. Make sure that ball's out of your hands, and oftentimes the receiver turns around, and there's the ball. Nice completion there. Oh, and fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. On second down, Williams. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Out of the gun, Stafford. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. 2-2 two -two Atwell laying himself out in the end zone. And the Rams are back within a score. A diving catch for the score he laid out. That was special. And you know the first thing they're going to check, right? Did he complete the process of the catch? <laughs> all the way through, all the way to the ground. Ball doesn't hit the ground without control in his hands. All of that, yes. Check the box, touchdown. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. kickoff team on the field and here we go with the ball in the air this taken in right around the goal line 
And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what Put you your do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and three. Hurt sets up to throw it. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he'll get this up past the 40. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Second down and six now. Hurts. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Tredavious Wright with a pick, and the Rams will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do, and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. On second down, here's Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Now a give up the middle to Williams. Fighting through it. He's got space. And he's taken down inside the 30. A good pickup. 17 yards and also a Rams first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. 60 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. They've done a pretty good job containing him up until this drive, and until that run, there was no containing him at all. Yeah, you're right about that. He finally popped free. But we didn't have to be in their practice sessions. We didn't have to be in their meeting rooms. They planned for a run like that to happen, maybe a couple of them. But what did they tell their guys all week? You know what they said, move on to the next play. That one just happened, let it go. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Now Stafford. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. 
Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Stafford now to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. Well, that was an intriguing call. You got a chip shot field goal. Tight game. Why not just take the three? I know that not all the old rules apply in today's NFL. And in fact, I'd love to have an analytics coach here with us right now to say why that was probably a good play. I don't know if the analytics coach would have said that. That seemed like a bad play. Take the points there and move on. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Here's second and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Gets this to Campbell out on the right side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Back to throw again. Quick slant to Brown. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Here's second and a yard. From the gun, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. They got a completion there. That's clearly an example of one side happy, the other side not very happy. Defense, very <laughs> Hey, take one or two yards. We're good with that. Offense, you've got to expect to get more on the passing play. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw again. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Dances by him. And he's got this down to the 35. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. First and ten, it's Hurts. Catch made here by Campbell. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And yeah, that's going to bring up second down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Let's go. 
So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. The kick by Elliott is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was gonna be a battle and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? To throw on second down to Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it brings up third and five now. Stafford. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable game. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. From the 47, it's second and five. To throw is Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. Short completion, just four yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. 
And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Sometimes we wonder about play calls, but this one made perfect sense to me. He's got the only touchdown that they've scored in this game. Tried to get it to him again on another deep ball. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 18. That nice pickup of 17 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Nolan Smith showing some bursts there to catch him behind the line. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. Williams going to get it again on second down. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 88 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown. Puka Nakua, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams are an extra point away from capturing the lead. So, Charles, they had him double covered in the end zone. It still was not enough. I wonder if they're thinking to themselves now, two didn't work. Do we go for three guys on him next time? Because he fought through all that extra attention, got himself into a great position where his quarterback felt confident enough to challenge the coverage and threw it his way. What a big time play right there, both by the quarterback trusting him and by him going up and getting it. Extra point right down the middle, and that will put them on top here in the third. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. 
And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Here's Hurts to throw. Fires the quick slam. A.J. Brown's got it. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Final minute now of the third quarter. But first down, Hurts. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Throwing his hurts. Escaping the pressure right. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. A give to Barkley out of the gun. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Touchdown! Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. So a big play for the Eagles now as they'll go for two. Hertz will throw, and he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth-quarter lead. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it, because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius, as well as a big body to keep people away from the football.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The football going back to the Rams now. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Now a play fake it at Stafford. And that one complete downfield to Cup. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Call that a very strong gain of 24. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. To the right side and complete to Atwell. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it's second down. Stafford. That'll be caught. It's cut. A big play there for L.A. 44 yards. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam. But notice how he keeps his head on a swivel looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Now Stafford. Caught on the slant. Touchdown, Rams. Matthew Stafford finding Cooper Cup for the touchdown there. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with Cooper Cup on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Got him in. It's Brown. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And Barkley did not get there. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. 
They'll look to set up his blockers. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. Get a look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make their way back onto the field. Let's see here, Charles. Six catches, over 100 yards. Call that a pretty good day at the office. And I love the accumulation, the catches, the yardage. That means he's having a pretty good impact on this ball game and really helping his team out in a big way. Means he wants the football again, right? And it's funny because some of these receivers are very vocal about how much they're getting it. Others are quieter, but they still let you know, give me the ball, I'm going to make a play. From the 38 now, here's second and a yard. Off a of play action, here's Stafford. This one swung out to Williams. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. The busy night continues for Williams. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Second and seven. Again, it's Williams. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Muscle damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Muscle will burst right there. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Up the middle, it's Williams. And that winds up a decent run, and it also takes us to the two-minute warning. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. A big play in this football game. Third down and one. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as he'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Hurts and the Eagles now. Down 24-21. A minute 25 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. They'll look to throw. Pass complete, got her. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Here comes second down and five. 
He'll look to throw. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. He's back to throw. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. They'll come up now on second down. Back to throw. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. They'll come up first and ten here. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to potentially send us to overtime. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him. 61 yards. This to tie things up in the final minute. And that is no good. Wide to the right. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Uh, we so often think of these kickers as automatic at any distance, and it's just not the case because when you start talking about 50-plus yards, it's still a tough one to connect on. This one ends up no good, and that should put to rest any chance of this game getting to overtime. Stafford down to a knee, and with it, he's going to ensure his guys a victory. Well, partner, you and I were excited for this one today and certainly had its moments. Some good execution at times by both of these offenses. Defenses both made some plays as well. And always a joy to be up here in the booth next to you, my friend. Yeah, it's a privilege to be up here in the booth next to you as well. Thanks for taking the time. And let's go ahead and get ready for our next one, right? I'll see you in the film room. Get that preparation started now. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Los Angeles.